section of the region to get hit hard by today's storm, Middletown and the rest of Aquidneck Island. Now, while well, parts of the state were just seeing some rain, the snow was piling up in the East Bay. Highway to Sioux supporter Stephen Schuler has been out in the elements since early this afternoon. Stephen joins us now live with more from the mobile newsroom. Well, Mike, still some light flurries out here in Middletown, although the snow has started to die down just over the past hour or so. But we are seeing some accumulation. Let's just check out an unofficial look here with the ruler. About seven and a half inches here on the ground. That's about three more inches since six o'clock earlier tonight. The other big issue, the wind, it's not letting down. And uh, just a couple of miles up the road here along West Main Road in Portsmouth, uh, wind gust snapped a tree, forcing state police to close one lane of travel earlier tonight. Still, we found plenty of people out braving the elements, some looking for some winter weather fun. Whipping winds and heavy flakes fill the night sky in Middletown, where whiteout conditions made it tough for drivers to navigate snow-covered roads. When I left my house in Bristol, there was no snow on the ground, so came out here to the island and a lot of snow. So once you come over the, the Mount Hope Bridge, it's just a whole new ball game. A lot, uh, lot more snow, the roads are a lot worse. Parking lots looked like ski resorts, and in just hours, strong flurries consumed cars. I'm, I'm really plain tired, oh, to be honest with you. And to give you an idea how strong the wind's been all day, take a look at this tree bare on one side, but you come over here and it's completely coated in snow. In Portsmouth, kids took advantage of a day off from school. The wet snow perfect for sledding and snowball fights. Absolutely. So perfect, these three made it their mission to find a sled. It's great. We love it. We love it. This is what we live for. And unfortunately, those three not finding a sled here, even after checking out several stores, being told they're sold out everywhere. We did speak to Middletown's fire chief earlier tonight. He tells us they have extra crews on hand to deal with any re-icing, but is still warning drivers to definitely be careful on these slick roads. Live in Middletown with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.